Hey everyone and welcome to the Halloween event finale in GTA Online. That's right, this is the final event week of the Halloween content. And the good news is they're going out with a bang because there are a lot of items to get your hands on this week. First of all, the new vehicle today is the Weevil Custom, which looks very cool when you kind of make it Halloween-ish, I guess you could say. It's also very fast, it gets around really quickly, but its handling is very poor at the same time. All in all though, it's still a very fun vehicle to drive. For returning content, the peyote plants have been added back, so for those of you looking to rank up, this is a big opportunity to do that because each one grants you 5,000 RP. The UFO business battle from last year at Fort Sankudo has also been added back into the game for this event, as well as the Camheads arcade machine, so if you haven't bought that for your arcade, now is the time to get on that because it will go away after the event's over. For free mode events, the Phantom Car is returning, as well as the Slasher event. And this year you have a 50% chance to fight your clone with the slasher. And apparently they are no joke because when my clone spawned in, he one-shot me from full health with a knife attack. Which could have been because I had lowered health from the peyote plant, or maybe they just deal that much damage. For money-making bonuses this week, we have double money NRP on arena war modes, which will also grant two times arena points. And the Halloween adversary modes will also be paying double. The prize right over at the LS Carbine is going to be the Typon, and to earn it you have to win a Carbine race for 5 days in a row, which I don't know if is really worth it for this car. The test track vehicles are the Blade, Raiden, and the Penetrator, and for those of you on next gen, your HSW ride is the Ubermock Sentinel XS. Over at the casino, the podium vehicle is the Frankenstein, a nice Halloween vehicle. There are a ton of exclusive clothing items that you will only be able to get this week. Starting off with the easiest one, the Death Mask, all you have to do is log in anytime this week to get that. And it's the final mask from the Judgment Day Adversary Mode. In Business Battle Event Cargo, there are two masks up for grabs, the Pale Vintage Mummy Mask and the Green Vintage Frank Mask. So at minimum, you have to grab two Event Cargos this week from Business Battles. And they can't be from the same one, it has to be two separate ones. If you complete any cell mission, you'll get the Halloween Shoot Bag. Yes, that's right. The long-awaited elusive parachute bag that we've been waiting over a year for is finally here. If you complete a round of the Condemned Adversary Mode, you'll eventually get the Orange and Grey Tech Demon Mask within 72 hours of logging in after November 8th, which I don't know why they did that, you know, Halloween's gonna be over by then. Why can't we just get the mask the moment we do it? And finally, the best one out of all the unlocks. If you log in on Halloween, October 31st, aka next Monday, and collect 500 Sasquatch hairs around the map, you will receive the Sasquatch or Bigfoot outfit. Alright, I'm just playing. You don't actually have to do that. All you have to do is log in and you'll get it for free. Very nice. And this is going to just be so full of memes and jokes. I'm going to be messing around with this for sure on the Halloween stream. So definitely don't forget to hop on for at least a minute just to get this outfit. And that just leaves us with the discounts. At half off, we have the Arena Workshop and its renovations. 30% off of all Arena War outfits. And those can be quite expensive. 50% off of the Blade, Gargoyle, and the Lurcher. 40% off the Penetrator, Arena Bruiser. Impaler, this applies to both the stock price and the upgrade price. The Arena Sasquatch, Sanctus, and the Weevil. And finally, at 30% off, we have the Arena Cerberus, the Eye Wagon, Pagali, Raiden, and the Vigion. And that's pretty much going to conclude the Halloween event month, I guess. Because it really has been a whole month of different bonuses for Halloween. I also do want to remind you guys that the UFO event is going to be ramping up starting on the 28th of October, tomorrow. That's when you'll be able to get abducted by the UFOs to unlock the alien boxer shorts, so that should be interesting. If you enjoyed the video or found it helpful, feel free to leave a like as well as subscribe to my channel for more GTA Online content. I want to give a huge shout out to all my channel members for your support. If you'd like to become a member for some exclusive perks, you can either use the join button or the link that's down in the description. And as always, thanks for watching and have a great day.